hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to show you how i made this tote bag and i finished off my seams using a french seam which gives my bag a very professional finish if you'd like to see how i did that keep watching enjoy the video so to make your tote bag you need the following items you need some fabric for your lining and i'm going to be using ankara for my lining i have over half a yard however you only need about half a yard you would also need your main fabric and i'm using denim but you can decide to use canvas or any other thick fabric of your choice you also need your measuring tape you need your fabric scissors you need some pins you need your tailor's chalk then you need your ruler I'll be adding a design to my own so I have my decal and my decal just says be kind and I made it out of glitter HTV which is heat transfer vinyl so let's get into the video fold your fabric over as shown so that you have one edge folded and the other edge open from the folded edge measure 17 inches upward this will serve as our tote bag length then go ahead and also measure the tote bag width and you want to measure a width of 17 inches. All allowances have been added to these measurements. After measuring these points, go ahead and connect them and cut along the points as shown. After cutting out the fabric, Open it up to give a total length of 34 inches and a total width of 17 inches. Put the fabric aside and fold your lining in the same way. After folding your lining, place your cut fabric on your folded lining making sure the folded edges of both the fabric and the lining are aligned. Cut your lining using your fabric as a template. If you feel the need to pin, go ahead and pin before cutting. After cutting out the lining, you should have two pieces that measure 34 inches by 17 inches. Next, we need to cut out the pocket. For the pocket, I cut out a small rectangle from my main fabric which is the denim and it measures 7.5 inches in length and 8 inches in width. After cutting out the pocket piece, the next thing to do is to locate the pocket position on the lining. Go ahead and notch the middle of the lining and then decide where you would like the pocket to sit. I recommend that your pocket is placed about 5 or 6 inches from the top of the lining. You also want to make sure that it's evenly positioned around the sides. Afterwards, go ahead and hem the top of your pocket by folding in half an inch twice. Pin your hem into place and then sew as shown. After hemming the top of the pocket piece, place your pocket in the desired position, then fold in half an inch at the sides and the bottom, and pin into place. Go ahead and top stitch the pocket into place by sewing the sides and the bottom as shown. Alright guys, so at this point I lost about 2 minutes of my footage but it's not biggie because I'm going to quickly explain what you need to do. So at this point you need to place your main fabric on the working area with the right side facing down. Then place your lining on it with the right side facing up so you have basically the wrong sides of both fabrics facing each other. Ensure both fabrics are laid flat and then pin the middle of both fabrics together.
Reduce the lining by cutting off one inch at both ends. This is to make sure that the lining is well tucked in while hemming the main fabric. Before hemming, we need to make straps. To make straps, cut out two strips of fabric measuring 22 inches in length and 4 inches in width. Fold the strips, pin them into place and then sew on a 0.5 inch sewing allowance as shown. After sewing both straps, go ahead and turn your straps inside out and then go ahead and iron your straps flat. You want to iron your strap so that the seam is at the side as shown. After ironing, top stitch your straps by sewing on both sides of each strap. Next, attach your straps to your fabric. Find the midpoint of your main fabric and then from the midpoint, measure 3 inches on both sides. Place your straps 1 inch below the top of the lining and align it with the 3 inches point marks as shown. I initially pinned my straps to the very edge of the lining, however, I moved it down so that it's one inch below the edge of the lining, like I said. After pinning your straps to your fabric, go ahead and hem your fabric by folding in half an inch and then one inch. Pin your hem into place and then go ahead and sew. You want to repeat the process for the second side or the second edge of your bag. After hemming, this is what it should look like. You'll notice that your straps are in the wrong direction. So go ahead and pin them upright so that they're in the right direction. And then you're going to go ahead and then sew on the hem lines. However, you'll be sewing from the right side of the fabric this time. Sew along both lines as shown, making sure to backstitch whenever you get to the part that has the straps. You want to go slowly as well so that it doesn't stress your machine out. My machine had no problem going through that those layers of fabric rather. However, some machines might struggle with it. So you want to go as slowly as possible. After sewing the straps in the right direction, 
This next step is absolutely optional. I decided to put Velcro in my bag. So basically what I decided to do is find the midpoints between the straps and then place my Velcro faster on the midpoints. To use Velcro, cut out 2 inches of Velcro and place each part on both sides of the bag, making sure it aligns with the midpoint. Pin and then sew around the edges. After sewing around the velcro, flip the fabric to the right side, then sew two diagonal lines in the rectangle to form an X. At this point, your tote bag is nearly ready and all we need to do is basically sew the sides. And to do this, we'll be making use of the French seam method, which is a great way because it encloses the seam and finishes the seam off nicely. Trim off the edges so that the edges are perfectly even. Then pin the edges together and sew on a 1cm seam allowance as shown. After sewing the 1cm seam allowance, trim off the allowance as close to the seam as you can get without touching the seam. Then turn your tote bag inside out. Push out the corners, then give it a good finger press or iron. Then sew on a 1cm seam allowance, making sure you enclose the previous seam for a perfect finish. Repeat this on the other side. After sewing, your French seam is now done and you can see that it has a perfect finish on both the inside as well as the outside. This is what the outside looks like when I turn it inside out and at this point your tote bag is practically ready. However, if you choose to give your tote bag the box effect, then go ahead and do the next step. To box out your tote bag, fold the edge to form a triangle as shown, making sure the fabric and the lining are smooth and free of wrinkles. Then sew a 3 inches line across the triangle as shown. After sewing the line, go ahead and trim off the excess fabric as close to the seam as possible. Then go ahead and turn your bag inside out.
push out the corners and give it a good finger press. Then go ahead and sew on a 1 cm seam allowance, making sure to enclose the previous seam allowance. After sewing the French seam, we are now done with the tote bag and our tote bag is boxed up and looks really nice if I can say so myself. So the next thing for me to do is to iron on my decal and then I'm done with my tote bag. After ironing on my decal onto my tote bag, this is what my tote bag looks like and I'm very pleased with the result. Alright guys, so we've come to the very end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching to the end. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to follow me on social media. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!